Well, here we are in the in the zero freeze thermal mass greenhouse four years later. In that period of time, we've uh, plastered all of the earthen surfaces here, put a covering on the plaster of the bench to give it extra protection and help with the drainage of the extra fluid. And the zero freeze has been effective all of these four winters where we've gotten down to 12 or 13 below zero and have not experienced a freeze in here. The primary reason for generating plant in this environment is to be able to have transplants to put out in the growing season we do have, which is short here, 90 to 100 days, that will allow us to get several crops in that same growing season instead of one growing from seed outside. It increases our maximum food production considerably. Let me look at the thermal math in here for a minute now with you, and just to, just to re go over this again. We've tried to keep the minimum amount of air space in this building, and the maximum amount of thermal, excuse me, maximum amount of uh, solar energy gain, and the maximum amount of mass. So by the bench being solid earth, we get thermal mass storage here, we get thermal mass storage in these barrels, and these barrels in the back or wall, anywhere that's exposed as earth is storing energy. that lets it out slowly at night. We want to be able to grow food in it during the year also. And so it's not a bad idea. We can go from carrots, uh, lettuce, green beans. We're growing a lot of things here in the wintertime. These transplants, as you can see, are in various stages of growth. They're growing first in a seedling box, taken out of small little rootstocks, put in here one at a time to grow up, as you can see the different stages, to create transplants for growing in our regular season. And we've also grown a few other things in here. Down at the end, if you look, there's a vine up high that's starting to grow. That is a kiwi plant we put in last year that will produce kiwis in here this year. I think that the ideal circumstance is to have a combination of being able to grow here in the winter time for food and be able to produce these transplants. You can see the benefit, I think, of this type of construction. This is secure. This is going to stay. This is not going to blow away. This has no maintenance, and it works.